Hey guys, it's Heather the Crochet Witch. How are you guys doing? So, I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna end up being chatty or not. Um, probably, if you know me, probably. So hopefully you have a drink. If not, we'll wait. <laughs> you probably just pause the video. But <laughs> if you've seen the length of it, you probably already have your drink. If you know me, you probably already have your drink. Anyway, um, so I, I'm going to start out with the PSA that I have for you from Michaels, um, which is, went to Michaels today. Um, and if you didn't know, I think that Michaels might be clearancing out Karen Skinny Cakes. I didn't get footage from in the store. There was quite a few people in the Michaels that I went to. Uh, you know, if you've watched my channel, that I have a Michaels that way, a Michaels that way, and a Michaels that way. So today we went to the Michaels that way. And um, it's the midsize Michaels. Um, but I heard a rumor <laughs> that the Skinny Cakes might be going soon on clearance. For I, Sorry, I don't know what I'm doing with my hair. Like, my hair, uh, ever since the shower this morning, has just been doing odd things I don't know like it's usually just hangs straight and that's that but it's I don't know kind of frizzy today anyway not the point of the video I've been hearing rumors <laughs> that um some of the skinny cakes might be on clearance um and I saw certain people doing videos um one of them was the yarn geek um and I know that she had other colors in her cart that she got than the ones that I got. So I only checked the ones because I have been trying not to get a bunch of yarn. My only reason that I got some today was um, A, I went to check the prices. And B, I figured if I was going to pick any up, it was going to be um, where I have some existing ones that I had bought actually at full price when they first came out because they were gorgeous I mean I probably had like a coupon or something for them but otherwise full price um and if they're clearancing them out uh I figured I would pick up if the store had a couple of them and the store had a couple of them not a whole bunch um so I got two different colors um but they were both different than um the yarn geeks so um I think they might all be. I, I wish that I... We were in kind of a hurry because Damon and I had a movie to get to. We saw the new Thor movie tonight, which, by the way, if you haven't seen it, I, I thought was awesome, but I'm a big Thor fan. Um, Not as big as the Red Guardian, but <laughs> I do like Thor. Um, Anyway, this, movie, this is not going to be a Thor movie review. I promise. Um, But you should go see it if you like Marvel movies. I do suggest it. Um, so we were in kind of hurry. So I picked, I like, I did see the colors and I said, I'm just going to go check them. So I went and, you know, uh, I checked them on the app first. And like, I always feel like it's a good sign if you're looking for the clearance sales. Um, if the app says that there's no um, results found or whatever it says, and there's no results found. I should have just at least scanned them with my app. I know, but I was I was in a hurry. Um, I'm thinking on Thursday, because that's my next day off, I might go to the Michaels that way because that is my um, bigger Michaels and see what's there, if there's any left, if they're on clearance. If they're all gone, then they're probably all on clearance. Um, but the two that I did go for, uh, had no information on the app. So there's something to start with. If you're going to look at colors and you scan it with your app, they probably have no results found or no information found or whatever it says. Uh, if you then take it to the little price scanning thing, um, I would bet that much like I did, it says regular price. I think mine was $12.99 and I, it said it was marked for clearance at $5. So they were five bucks. So let me show you the ones that I picked up so you can see um, what was on clearance for sure at my Michaels. Uh, I picked up three of these beautiful skinny cakes. This is kind of like the rainbow mixed with brown. It's gorgeous. It is in the color Spectrum. I had 
Uh, I believe I had two of these already. So um, they had three of them. So I have five of these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous cakes. Um, if you have never worked with these, and like I said, five bucks, great deal for these. Uh, like I said, normally I think they were $12.99 now at Michael's, at least at mine. Um, let's see, these are a light three-weight yarn. Um, they're 100% acrylic. Uh, they're machine washable and dryable. There's 8.8 .8 ounces of yarn in here, and that's 250 grams which is 795 yards, which is 727 meters. Again, this is the color spectrum. And where were you made? Um, where were you made? Do we know? Made in India. So here's one more good look. I just think that is so pretty, so pretty. Um, so yeah, I picked up three of those and then I picked up two of these, which the second that I heard these were five bucks, these are the ones I thought of and I was hoping that they'd have them because these seem to always be gone from my store, like even at full price or like if the yarn is on sale, like the, what is it, buy one, get one 50% off kind of deal. These seem to always be gone at my store because um, they're gorgeous. Um, but same specs, and this is the color rainbow. And I believe I had two of these also, if I remember correctly. I'm like trying to stare up at my skinny cakes. I have them in um, a stack up there. So good luck, Heather. Good luck finding those. <laughs> but um, I, I did find two more at my store. Kind of hoping the other Michaels has um, a few more of these because I was thinking like a blanket would be really nice and I could probably manage a blanket, but a bigger blanket would be better. <laughs> these are very soft though. Um, but I know that um, she had what, one of the purpley colors in her cart and I want to say one of the bluish colors. So those are definitely different ones than I had um, since I went for the rainbowy ones. Um, but yeah, so check your Michaels. Um, I won't be in such a big hurry if I go this Thursday also. So I will check around for other sales also. I heard that it might be more than just skinny cakes, that it might be other Karen cakes. But um, I didn't check anything else with that because I have seen with my own eyes uh well I saw in other people's videos with my own eyes that the skinny cakes were ringing up at five bucks so I checked those and like it was an in and out kind of deal today but I wanted to get that PSA out there for you guys um to check your stores if you're looking I don't believe the deal is online it's only in the stores and they're not marked from anyone that I have seen they were not marked at my store um just check them, scan with the app, and scan at the little price scan area, or just be brave and take them to the counter. I mean, if you want to, you can always tell them you don't want it, but the price scan is right there if you don't want to, like, go do that. Um, yeah, so that is some of the yarny stuff I have for you. Um, but it is not all of the purchasing stuff, so I'm going to move on to other purchasey stuff, and then I'm going to go back around to some yarny things. The other thing I got at Michael's, let's go there. Uh, I found, so I am working on a project. Um, I would call it a secret project, I guess, since I don't think I've shown any of you, any of you guys yet. Not even, um, those that I speak with quite regularly on text or messengers or anything. Um, haven't posted it in my Facebook group. Uh, I will show it to you when I show you my room upstairs when it's done because it's part of the decor in my room. But I had three bags that I've had for quite a while because it was one of those things that like I picked up and I didn't know what I'd do with it, but I knew I wanted it kind of thing. Um, I had three bags of these uh, silk, well, they're, they say silk, they're probably not really silk, fabric, craft, leaves, they're maple leaves. 
Um, they were like old. They were um, they were glittered and they were just fall colored maple leaves. Um, they were like old old from Walmart. They said like Department Fifty One. They were like a dollar something. They were marked right on the package. They were old. Um, like I bet I got them on clearance or something a long time ago. Um, and I thought that three bags would be enough for this project. Well, it turns out I was very wrong. It also turns out I could not find them anywhere. eBay, Amazon, Walmart.com. Um, I checked, there was a craft outlet place that I checked, which I thought I had found a pretty similar match that was glittered and everything. And, uh, I bought one, like they came in a canister. No, um, I'm going to use some of those, but they were not a match. In fact, out of all like 90 leaves that came in, I'm only going to end up using like 16 for the project that I'm doing because I want all of them to be these beautiful like orange leaves and they actually ended up coming like there were like some brownish ones some greenish ones it was a it was a pretty mixture it just wasn't what I wanted uh so I was scanning uh, while I was doing the video I did a video at Hobby Lobby that uh, if it's not already out it'll be out tomorrow or later um that's like part two of the new yarns so if you're interested in what Hobby Lobby is putting on the shelf, uh, you'll find out some more in my next video. Um, but Hobby Lobby, I thought, might have them. And oddly enough, they had a lot of leaves. They had some with sparkles on them, which is exactly what I wanted. They had some beautiful orangey colored ones with sparkles. Um, they were oak leaves, which is, that's pretty. Um, but mine are maple. I needed them to be maple. Uh, so no no dice there. Uh, I looked on Joanne's app. They didn't have what I, exactly what I was looking for. They have some leaves, but not the same. Uh, then we went to Michael's um, for the skinny cakes. And this is the other thing that I grabbed. And I thought I would find maybe like a garland and just start chopping leaves off of it. So we found these and they were on sale because these were normally, this one little, this was $9.99, but they were on sale this week for $5.99. And it turns out that for each, okay, I don't know how to put this without telling you what I'm doing. For each section of my project, it turns out I needed about the number of leaves that is on each one of these. And I needed uh, four of these. And there happened to be four of these in the store. So I told David, these were meant for me, right? They had to be. They're on sale this week. There's the number that I need. There's the number on each one that I need. Um, and they are the color that I want. They're maple and they're glittered. I don't have to spray gl glitter them. I don't have to do anything but chop them off of their stems and use them. They're perfect. So that's what else I got. I got four of them. So I'm pretty excited that I can finish my um, project with basically what I wanted. <laughs> um, very happy for that. I didn't have to settle because I was, I was reaching the point where I was like, I'm just going to have to settle and like, I don't know, mix in the brownish leaves or something because... <sighs> Yeah, mm -mm. I was not happy about that, but it was about to have to happen. So, yay! <laughs> um, oh, also, so I was wearing my um, Hellfire Club shirt today, and, like, David and I went out to eat. Uh, we went to, like I said, we went to Hobby Lobby. We went to um, Meyer, or Michael's. We went to... Um, Bath and Body Works, which I am about to show you some other stuff that I got from Bath and Body Works. Um, we went to, if I didn't say it, we went out to eat before that. Um, and then when I got home, Damon and I went to the movies. Every single place I went, somebody said they liked my shirt. <laughs> so popular. Yay. <laughs> um, anyway. I don't know why I just had to mention that. I felt, um, I felt popular. <laughs> um, 
so then we had went to Bath and Body Works, which was the other like purchase of the day. Um, I was feeling some remorse for leaving some stuff behind at the store when I went the other day. And um, and there were a couple new items that I've been seeing pop up in people's haul videos because, yes, I watched the Halloween haul videos from Bath and Body Works. Um, there was a couple items that I super wanted. Um, one of them is an, it's another candle holder. <laughs> um, that's, it's a pumpkin flocked completely in velvet. It looks like something, it looks like somebody time traveled to like the seventies or the sixties, stole it off of somebody's mantle and brought it back to the now. It looks gorgeous. There's like a gold leaf that is like decorating it, but otherwise it is like flocked orange beautifulness and you set your candle on it and it's gorgeous. Clearly I don't have that to show you. I did not find that today. <laughs> it's not online. It was not at my store. Um, I guess they had it other years also because it was on eBay. People were selling it, but... I was hoping to find it at the store. And then they had another wallflower plug-in that was like a, a water globe looking deal. And it had a witch's hat on the top of it. And inside it had one of those trees, like the haunted trees and a ghost that lit up. The ghost part lit up and the face of the haunted tree lit up. It looked really cool. My store also did not have that. Um, and they had a visor clip for your car with the car sense that was uh it has a little ghost on it and when you push the ghost the ghost lights up so cool it's like interior lighting when you need it I really wanted to get two of those for my car did not have that they're not online either so maybe I'll check back uh later and they might have it um maybe they'll show up online we'll see what I did get um, I was having some buyer's remorse with two of the other plug-in things, the wallflower plugins. Um, actually in the, in the order that Damon got, he bought one of these too, like for himself cause he really liked it. But I got one of these crystal balls. Oh, it's going to be a ring. The ring light's going to reflect on it. I will put another picture in somewhere up in here. <laughs> um, but it's a crystal ball. And there's literally crystals inside of it. Isn't that pretty? I love it. I love the like witchy theme that they're going with this year with a lot of their stuff. Like they have one, uh, a nightlight one with a little black cat with a witch's hat. They have one of the pocket back things that's a little black cat face with a witch's hat on. Um, they just have some cute witchy stuff going on. I, I like that this year. But I thought this was really cute. And depending on how night lighty it is, I thought this would be cute in the bathroom. Uh, and if if that one's not night lighty enough for the bathroom, I think this one is. But this one I was super remorseful about <laughs> leaving behind. Isn't he adorable? I love him so much. And he, uh, from all the videos that I've seen, he looks to to glow quite a bit. So we shall see when I plug him in, but I will also leave a picture for him up here. If you haven't seen it already pop up, it will pop up momentarily, but he's another plug-in that glows. Isn't he cute? Uh, last year they sold a bat that was cartoon, or a ghost that was cartoony like this, and this year they have this guy and they have a pumpkin that's kind of cartoony like this, but the bat is the one I, I had to have. Love him so much. Um... I don't know why I left him behind to begin with, except I was so excited about some of the like spookier things. And then I got to thinking and I was like, but he's so cute. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> then I thought David was going to kill me, but uh, no, he, he was totally okay with it. Um, I, uh, I did it. I got the eyeball, you guys. How cool is that? You want to see it lit up? I don't know. Let me see. Oh, yeah. It shows pretty well. 
I think I also took a picture of it though in like in the dark so I'm probably going to pop a picture up of that too but here is it rotating and all and um, the glitter is flying I'm sure you can see that pretty well and then the candle goes up here which I don't have one sitting of course right here because I did put my candles away but um <laughs> This one doesn't play music or anything. It's just just kind of an odd, creepy, oddity thing. How cool is that, though? Oh my gosh, I love him. You know, too, um, now that I'm holding him up to the bright light of the ring light, some of the glitter has collected on the inside of the eyeball. <laughs> So as it's rotating, I can see the shape of it. Like it's all up in the top part and there's like one mass of it down here. You can't see it when I'm not holding it way up or anything. Like it's not going to matter, but it's pretty funny to realize that it's up there. <laughs> but yeah, it's, um, it's not metal. Like this part is plastic, but it's like this, um, maybe like a Lotus down here where it opens up or something it's like a flower that it's sitting in and it's just it's gorgeous and I love it and I think that that's gonna sit in my room upstairs also <laughs> I really like this I shouldn't like this that much but I do I love it I love it a lot <laughs> so that will probably conclude any big buys from Bath and Body Works that I all year because like I said in the last video like they are pricey um like I'm definitely not getting that luminary I didn't even see that at the store a lot of people said their stores have been uh getting them in and they're still online which even when they're super pricey they usually sell out so I guess they probably did have quite a lot of them uh, I guess Bath and Body Works said they were going to make sure to have a lot in stock this year um so they didn't sell out like immediately, which they haven't. Um, but I'm not, I'm not going to be, it's really cool looking, but I'm not going to be paying $200 for it. Um, and yeah, I, I had originally said, I'm not getting the eyeball. I'm not getting the crow. Here I am with both of them. I bought the pricier, um, the wallflower cottage and the tree. I suppose if somehow s magically I find the uh the three wick tree holder the candle holder I would spring for that because I really like that and it was gone like so fast and I have not seen it in my store at all so if I magically see that I probably would would spring for that because he's really cool um but I seriously doubt like, that's like a last year or the year before with the monster candle holder um, that glowed green, like, from inside. Uh, he was, like, really kooky looking. Couldn't find him anywhere. He's popping up on eBay now, but like I said, he's, like, like $90 to $120 or something, like, because nobody could find him. <laughs> um, so I'm doubting I'm going to end up with the tree. Um, if I can find that plug-in, I'll probably get that or the visor clip because they're nowhere near as much. But other than that, I think it'll be just like candles and consumable things for the rest of the uh, season for me when they go on sale or something. I think I am officially itemed out. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, um... Like a couple of you said, I'm, it's not, I mean, I, I, um, saved up my money for it for, you know, like I worked hard for it and everything. It's not like I'm, um, going broke or hurting anybody or anything like that, but it's the stuff, that's the stuff that I enjoy, you know, yarn and Halloween stuff. So <laughs> here I am surrounded by yarn and Halloween stuff and Stranger Things stuff. Speaking of which, <laughs> um, Damon also got me the th first three of the four 
uh, I'm gonna mispronounce it, but Kamchatka series. There is a new comic series that's a four-part series uh, of the prison camp that Hopper was at. So I'm going to be reading those. Um, my friend Joe ordered them for his, for his comic shop um, for us. And he's got the fourth one coming. So I'll have the set. Yay. And apparently he said he's also got um, the one-shot comic. Because uh, usually they come in fours. He's got the one-shot comic uh, of the summer edition like if you guys were around and remember that I, I had gotten the winter special they have a summer special which makes me wonder if they had a spring special I should probably look that up or if they'll have a fall special but I digress anyway um but yeah so got a stranger things item also to show you <laughs> besides my shirt and um on my channel my tarot channel, my witchy channel, actually, I should say, um, I will have, no, I, I already did. I already put it up, you guys. I just got this Boo Tarot, and if you are interested in that, that is, um, it's this adorable deck. All of the cards are these cute little cartoon ghosts, so I thought that was, like, perfect spooky season, but this was just released. Uh, it shipped out end of June, so I got it at the beginning of July, um, this is, uh, from France, but it's in French and English. Um, it's really cute. Like, here's the previews on the back. So you can see if anybody that's interested in tarot, you can see, uh, they're just adorable little ghosties. Um, I always have the link down below to my witchy channel and to my tarot channel. Um, so I don't mix those, uh, things with the crochet channel. Um, I know in this like kind of vloggy video, I'm talking about all sorts of different things, but um, normally I stick to just yarn and crochet here uh, for the most part. It's Stranger Things, but <laughs> um, Stranger Things gets spread out through all of my channels. So don't think by looking at one of my other channels that you are going to be free of Stranger Things. That's probably always going to be there. Um, but yeah, if you are interested in seeing this, my newest video on the Witchy channel is the walkthrough of this deck. Uh, and the next time I do some readings on my tarot channel, which I think is also linked down below, I will probably be using this deck because I'm pretty excited to be using that one. Um, and then I said I had more yarny stuff for you. So uh, aside from working on my movie marquee blanket, I um, found time to work on something else, surprisingly. I have a couple something else's, but one of them is a surprise. <laughs> Sorry. Um, the other one, though, I am finally, finally working through. Um, over to this side of me is a short bookcase that's on, like, I have my, my grandma's old kitchen table. It's something of hers that I keep with me. Um and I use it for my craft table. Uh, and I have, like I know I've described this before, but since it's a full-size kitchen table in here, um, which is why I only have this much room between my other shelves <laughs> and me, because it's a narrow room with a kitchen table in it. Um, I have a, like a shelf here sitting on it, and I have a bookshelf here sitting on it. The bookshelf here there is one full shelf dedicated to, the, you may recognize these, from a past Hobby Lobby sale. But I had bought out, uh, in one of the Hobby Lobby sales, the earlier ones, where I had went nuts buying like everything in sight. Um, this is the uh, Juliet yarn. This particular one is in the color Dreamscape, but this is the Juliet yarn. And I have all sorts of colors, right? All sorts of colors. I used them for, I think I made a couple of like hat and scarf sets from some of them and then I just didn't know what to do with them, right? Um, because they're, they're a bigger yarn and I just didn't know what I wanted to do with it. Um, so what I decided to do was I noticed like each yarn had, since they're a bunch of different colors mixed together, like marled together, uh, each yarn, each different color yarn that I have has like one color in common. So I was kind of hoping they would kind of melt together like watercolory style in a blanket. So I started a 
corner to corner blanket. Um, I started with, I think this is called blush and I have not surprisingly sewn my ends in yet. So th this side is like the ugly side, but I finished, I think this was like three of the balls of the blush color. And I'm moving on to, I think I have four of the rose water lace. So that is the next color, which it isn't really transitioning as well as I thought, but the rose water lace had both of the, the pink and the flesh color tones that it, this blush color had. Um, but it's going to work. Like that's just what I decided to do with this yarn. So this is just going to end up being one big corner to corner blanket. I have already counted out like, uh, how many I have, so I'll, how many I'm going to use to like grow it, how many I'm going to use to keep it straight, and how many I'm going to use to close it up again. So um, however big it ends up making it, that's how big it's going to be. And it's just going to be like a scrappy looking corner to corner. But that's like my ongoing kind of project on the side now, whenever I have some time. And I'm just using this L hook, an eight millimeter, um, that I've had for a while. It was with another project. No, it was with this project because I, I started this project a long time ago with just one ball of the blush color. Um, the suggested was an M hook for this, but I'm using an L and yeah. So besides my, um, secret project and my movie marquee blanket. That's what I've been working on. And I got quite a bit done today because my movie marquee blanket is close to being done. So I couldn't, like the yarns are, were all floppy and everything. So I couldn't really take them with me um, when David and I went out today. So, because when he drives, I usually get to crochet some. <laughs> so um, I can take advantage of that while I can. So I took that with me anyway, but yeah. So that's what I've been up to. And as the title most likely is going to imply, this video is a little bit of this and that. So I thought you'd enjoy seeing uh, what I got to work on today while I was out doing this and that. Um, but yeah, I think that might be all I have for you. Uh, next week, well, at the end of this week is when my update for the Movie Marquee Blanket will be and hopefully it will be finished by then if not i have what a day or so into next week to finish it um and i have to draw for my movie to start august with and uh at the beginning of the month what's that <laughs> odd noise coming from my my um michael's leaf bag Ooh. Sorry, I had to restart it because um, we reached that magical moment in my video when I would have had my um, sound out of whack. Anyway, um, where was I? Oh, at the beginning of the month, my um, sister, David's sister, uh, my sister-in-law, uh, she will be coming for a visit from England. So I will be busy. So I'll have to think of... Um, whatever movie I draw, I'll have to think of like an easy on the go project, maybe squares of some type or strips of a blanket or something. I'll have to see what movie it is, I suppose. But yeah, we'll just have to go from there. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know. As soon as I finish my secret project, I'll be starting my um, Stranger Things uh, blanket and I'll tell you guys how I do it when I'm done or as I'm doing it at least not probably not before I start it in case there's some kinks to work out <laughs> um, and yeah after I get my posters hung up in my room which I discovered I can't do on my own uh, either David or Damon are gonna have to help me um, I just can't get them straight <laughs> No, I'm not good at that. Um, then I am going to do that Stranger Things, like, 
review opinion theory craziness talk video for you guys and um hopefully that will be soon also and yeah i think that is actually all i have for you i just i felt like i needed to ramble a little bit since i restarted the video <laughs> make the restart worth our while um yeah, I think that's actually, actually is all I have for you. So I will talk to you very soon. And uh, until then, you know, I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.